Praise the Lord. Welcome to this series titled Miracles from the Bible. I am Dr. Johnson Sherian. When we read Matthew chapter 17, verse 1 onwards, the Bible says, After six days, Jesus took with him Peter, James and John, the brother of James, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. There he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun and his clothes became as white as the light. Just then, there appeared before them Moses and Elijah, talking with Jesus. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, a bright cloud covered them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell face down to the ground, terrified. But Jesus came and touched them. Get up, he said, don't be afraid. Those were verses 1 to 7 from Matthew chapter 17. We read about the transfiguration of Jesus here. It's a great miracle. After his death and resurrection, he showed his glory to many people. But here we see him showing his glory to his three disciples. And Jesus went with these three disciples to this mountain and he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun and his clothes became as white as the light. And Moses and Elijah, they appeared there talking with Jesus. And if you read Luke chapter 9, where Luke writes about this same thing, he says that Jesus and Elijah and Moses, they were discussing about the crucifixion and death of Jesus Christ. We do not know what they were speaking, but perhaps they were speaking about the events that were going to take place in the coming days. But we see here Peter, John and James. They were with Jesus and Peter suddenly gets an idea and he tells Jesus, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, we'll put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. If you read the other Gospels, they say that he did not know what he was saying, but he said it, it anyway. And what can we make of that? Jesus did not argue with him, did not oppose him in that. But then, Something else happened there, another miracle. A bright cloud covered them and a voice from the cloud said, This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. The same voice that had spoken when Jesus was baptized. This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. The Father in heaven was always pleased with what Jesus did because Jesus always did the will of the Father. And when the disciples heard this voice, from the cloud, they fell face down to the ground. They were terrified. But again, we see Jesus strengthening them. He came and touched them and said, Get up, don't be afraid. It's a wonderful miracle that we read here. The appearing of Elijah and Moses. Elijah was taken up without seeing death. And Moses, he died and God had buried him. He could not enter the land of Canaan. But here now, he is here on the Mount of Transfiguration in the land of Canaan. So God did a great miracle there, not only Moses and Elijah appearing there, but also the voice from the cloud speaking to the disciples and telling them that this is my beloved son. Listen to him. And that's what we are supposed to do all the time. Listen to Jesus. And when we meditate on the word of God, we are listening to what he is saying and what the apostles have said. And the Holy Spirit guides us through this word of God each and every day till the time that we enter eternity and we are with God. So in this miracle, Jesus reveals his glory before he was crucified and died and was resurrected. What a wonderful experience this was for these three disciples, Peter, James and John. They saw the glorified Jesus, they saw Elijah, Moses, and they heard the voice of the Father speaking through the cloud and telling them that Jesus was God's beloved son. 
May God bless you with these thoughts this day. Praise the Lord.